good fight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our WBC Nike Nom Tom Super Lightweight title. And so, please welcome firstly to the blue corner, all the way from Portugal, Lorani Fatado. Fatado! And now, please welcome to the white corner from Leamington Spa, Giot Muzakiti! George Musakitis. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is for the WBC Nike Nom Tom Super Lightweight title. This bout will be contested over five three-minute rounds. Introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the black corner. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 63.5 kilos. He's from the beautiful country of Portugal. Please give a warm welcome to Lerani Fartado. And opposing him on the other side of the ring, he's fighting out of the white corner at yesterday's weigh-in. He scaled 63.4 kilos. He's representing Pechnoi Gym in Northampton and Aces Gym from Leamington Spa. It's George Muzakiti. Any referee in charge once, she, once the action gets underway, Mr. Ricky Sewell. So here we go. The Rani Furtado in the black corner from Portugal fighting George Mouzakitis in the white corner. Five three minute rounds for Muay Thai rules. Well, George Muzakitis, last time we saw him on uh, MTGP, it was, uh, it was heartbreak. He lost to um, 
He lost in the final against uh, Nathan Benden. Yeah. In the semi-finals. I, I, I've seen that fight. Good fight. He's bounced back since then, though. Yeah, he's got a couple of wins under his belt. And uh, he's a real student of the game, George. He's always in tremendous shape. Still very young and learning, but uh, he's got a, a big, bright future ahead of him, George Muzikitis. Yes, yeah, like, like I said earlier, you don't lose fights, you, you win. There you we learn. go, yeah, it's you experience. Learn, you? You, yep. you learn. You don't lose, you learn. Yeah, it was something I think Bender even said himself straight after the bout that uh, don't worry, he will come again. Yeah. But yeah, still a, a tender age. We saw his brother Miles on earlier, winning yeah. by knockout. Uh, within 30 seconds of his contest. And hoping for another uh, big win here and to take away that gorgeous yep. WBC Nikonom Tom belt. The round is already thrown a few sneaky elbows when they've been in close in the clinch. So he's, uh, he's come here meaning business. Yeah, this Portuguese team have been uh, pretty impressive so far tonight. Yeah, they have. We, we just saw Luis Santos, a couple of fights back, snatching a decision. So again, these uh, Portuguese yeah, fighters haven't been brought over to make up the numbers. George keeps getting uh, Lorani in that corner. Second time now he's been there. Yeah, there was a little shake of the head from Lorani. Saying you can't, you didn't hurt me, but he's not laying him out that corner. Yeah, he's keeping him there, isn't he? Yeah, he's back he is, to those yeah. ropes. That's uh, it's good stuff from Joel. That's ring generalship right there. It is. I mean, George is dominating really because he's, he's keeping Lorani pressured all the time. He's either against the ropes or he's, he's in the corner. Without even doing a lot as well. Like yeah. he's not spending an awful lot of energy, is he? he just no, he's not. Oh, good That's lovely. There. Yeah. This is got a fainting as well at the yeah, same time. Yeah, what we were talking about earlier, switching stance and striking. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the feints and, you, yeah. know, you know, putting yourself forward that way, getting the, uh, oh, nice you know, knee, creating yeah. the openings with feints. It's something you see Jonathan Haggerty do a lot, isn't it? Oh, Oof. yeah, one of my favourite fighters. Feints before everything. Don't move over <laughs> taking her shot there. Next centre ring. Good opening first round. Yeah, this is five, our first five rounder of the night, five threes. Yeah, and that's uh, in that corner over there. Yeah, in the corner of Muzakitis, uh, his dad Sam. Bart Swede, former world champion, and uh, Scott Robinson. There's a there's a wealth of experience yeah, and knowledge in that knowledge, corner. Don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's. Uh, I think if he continues this way, I don't see Lorani Furtado winning a fencing match with George Musakitis. He's no. going to have to make it a more of a I physical yeah. mess and a brawl. He does. I think he needs to up his combinations as well. Just had to, had to put more shots together. So you get there, like George just scored with a good kick to his back. It's a good score, that. Yeah. Yeah, an accidental shot to the groin. Free Ricky Sewell will give him as much time as he needs to. Uh, and there we go. As usual, they don't take a lot of time. Too much pride, these fighters. Yeah, like I say, we're not playing football either. <laughs> exactly. Well, Tardo instantly is uh, up the work rate. Yeah, and, this is and what has he needs some to do. Yeah, he's, he's got to do this. Yeah, you can't just allow uh, Muzakitis to do his own thing at his own pace. No, you can't. No, he's going to he's gonna take him apart otherwise. He's got to keep that pace up. Oh, oh never! That one took everything away from him! 
The knee kind of hit him on the shoulder there. Yeah, he, he got him before his hands touched yeah, the floor yeah, anyway. Yeah, so he wasn't down. Is it, it's still a legal blow. This could be the beginning of the end. Yeah, I think that could be the end. You're yeah. right. Furtado now holding on to yeah. Luzakitis. It's obviously still sort of shook up from that shot. Yeah, I would say that's a good te tactic yep. from uh, Furtado. Just try and tie him up as long as he can. Get that head to clear. Yeah. Ricky Sewell will step in and give him a count. If Wait. he doesn't throw something back and defend himself. If he's not a lot recovered, of he's, got, he's got plenty of time still, Josh, to, to finish him off. Over a minute left in this round. Furtado blocking most of these on his yeah, arms, on his yeah. forearms, but well, one or two are getting through out. like that one. Sewell administers, administers yeah. the second count of the round. There's still enough time here for George to finish him off now. There is. Is there a three knockdown rule, I believe, on the yeah. WBC yeah. rules? There is in there, so if it... Musakitis will know now that one more time, and this could be it. And that lovely green belt will be coming back with him to Levington Spa tonight. Oh, spinning elbow, elbow blocked on the forearms of Furtado. Another beautiful elbow, doubling up on the right. I, I think if he hadn't have, uh, put his arms around yeah. George's waist, he'd have been on the deck there, you know. Yeah, he still shook up. Another uh, hurtful shot body kick, body, that one. yeah. Nice elbow. Oh, how did he make it through that round? He must it be in a world it, it of pain. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's still rocks by that, you can yeah. tell. Yeah, he's in there. Uh, Last experience showing as well, because like when he was rocked, he holding on for dear life with uh, with George. Yeah, you know, yeah. Clinging on to him, he did the right thing, uh, really. We've seen other people do that tonight, be hurt and punch back and uh, often come out on the wrong end of a stoppage result. Yeah, they do, yeah, some people, uh, they get rocked and instead of like, you know, holding on, they'll try and fight back, so they'll try and show the right tough and lose their temper and then they just get finished. Yeah, usually you've lost a bit of the, they've lost that sharpness yeah. and that quickness, but Furtado grabbed hold. The hands were tight as well, a lot of yeah. these, some of those got through, but not all of them. No. Oh, he did actually block the majority of them. That yeah. knee was uh, was always going to pierce the guard, though, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah, some some tremendous work in that round from George Muzakitis. Lorani Furtado, as uh, as I've said, did well to make it back to his corner and come out for another round. Yeah. So we'll see how he recovers in the next two minutes rest he's got. Yeah, is the two minutes going to be enough? In a way, he's lucky. It's, uh, the, the time period for the rest for the rest in between rounds is two minutes. Yeah. Could have been uh, NTGP. Could have only had one minute. I don't think he'd have had time to recover no. in that minute. No. The two minutes he's got he's got a lot of time. Got a slight mouse under the eye already of uh, Furtado. Yeah. Session on the way. Oh, that's lovely nice stuff from Musakitis. Yeah, making Fatado miss. Unloads of combination. They both smile at each other. Yeah. A right grin from both men. I think it's because uh, Liani knows what George wants to do. Yeah. And he's not going to let him do it. <laughs> There's that little shuffle again from yeah. um, George Musakitis. The body shot, the body kick, followed by a uh, fast punch combination. The round is still dangerous, though. Yeah, he's going to be—he's uh, a live opponent as long as he's in there. Yeah. 
Again, Muzakitis knows this. He knows he's no mark, and that's why he's not jumping all over him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's doing the right thing, he's George. Taking his time, not rushing in. Yeah, he's aware that Furtado's dangerous, and he's going to be dangerous as long as he's in there. There's uh, no need for George to change what he's doing. No. He's been uh, pretty much in total control throughout this contest. Yeah, he's, 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 he's dismantling uh, Lurani piece by piece. Yeah. He's, he's, so he's not need to overdo it, make any mistakes. That's a fair assessment, I think, Phil. Body kick there from Lorani. Yeah, and then George, yeah, George uh, gives you one of his own back yeah. that echoed around the hall. Under 20 seconds to go in this round. Just peppering him, peppering him, isn't he? Yeah, he just is. Yeah, he's peppering away and then just looking for an opening and just picking him off. But Loran has got used to it now. I think that's why sometimes he's smiling because he knows what George is thinking. Yeah. He's got happy just to, yeah. to pick up the points, isn't he? he doesn't, yeah, he is. He knows he doesn't need to hurt him and take any unnecessary risks. No. He mix. I do like the way he mixes up the power shots. Well, fifth and final round, yep. both men embrace. It's been a good-natured bout. George Muzakitis, we think, for our money, uh, here on our, on Phil Glover's unofficial scorecard, <laughs> <laughs> we reckon that George is uh, yeah. probably ahead in this bout. Definitely. And uh, he's been in control for most of this contest. Let's see if... Uh, Furtado can do anything to change uh, the course of this bout in these you last three know. minutes. You never know. We've seen it already tonight. We've seen it a few times in fights where it suddenly changed. Much of the same, though, isn't it, from Muzikitis? Just manoeuvres Furtado to where he wants him. And George is just picking him off with that jab, keeping him yeah. in the distance. Oh! oh nearly with that spin back, back fist. fist. Block behind Furtado. That straight backhand to the body as well. We've yeah. seen that a few times tonight. Yeah. Keeping him there, isn't he? Yeah, I think sometimes, well, uh, Lorani, when his back's against the ropes, I think sometimes he wants to be there. He's like, he's moved there himself, you see. And yeah. I think he's doing that sometimes to set somebody up with, with counter. But I think George is too smart for that. 
Yeah, and he's got a, he's got just over a minute left to uh, do something with that setup that he's yeah. been working on because time is running out. And Muzakita is still in control, still yeah. dominating the flow and the pace. Oh, <laughs> this is. Uh, Misses almost carries himself out of the ring there. I think now Lorani knows that he's, he's been beat, and I think he's just. He's sort of uh, content around, to really. make it to the uh, yeah, final bell, it, isn't he? Make it to the end. Yes, he's not really trying now. Still popping in hard shots, hard yep. kicks. The seconds tick away. Yeah. Comfortable win. Yeah. Comfortable win there. Muzakidis sure. did what he needed to do. He dropped Furtado twice in the third. Uh, Furtado done so well to get off the canvas and stay in the bout. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, Muzakidis in control throughout pretty much. Great performance from him yeah, tonight. Good fight, good opponent as well, really good opponent. These Portuguese fighters, they're pretty tough. Yeah, as we said, they haven't come to make up the numbers, have they? Can we have Scott Robinson to the ring, please, to present the belt? Scott Robinson to the ring, please, to present the belt. Co-promoter of MTGP Sheffield, Scott Robinson, to present the belt. And, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a massive round of applause, please, for both men after five excellent rounds of action. And at the end of those five completed rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards where we have a unanimous decision. All three judges scoring this bout. 50 points to 43 in favor of your winner and the new WBC, Nike and Arm Tom, super lightweight champion, fighting out of the white corner, it's George Muzakiti! And show your appreciation for our brave runner up, Lorani Furtado. We had a tough opponent as well from Portugal in Lorani Furtado. Scott Fittardo. Robinson, the co-promoter well of MTGP Sheffield, is now presenting the WBC Nike and Arm Tom Super Lightweight title belt to your winner. One more time, George Muzakiti!